Chapter 1. Women Hold the Key to a Successful Relationship Straight Talk No Chaser is a relationship eye-opener for both men and women, especially for women. In the following chapters, you will discover why men never seem to do what you want them to do when you want them to do it. You will also learn how to get the most out of your man sexually and what men in different stages of their lives think about dating. You will get a better understanding of popular and controversial topics about men. Some of them include how men think, creative ways to get a man to keep honoring your standards, how to ask men the right questions and get truthful answers, and several ways to get a real man to commit to you. This summary will help you empower yourself and recognize that you hold the key to a successful relationship. Dear woman, you have more power to choose the partner of your choice than you think. Don't settle for less. You will learn how to change your approach, take back your power, and hold your chin up while you're preparing and working on getting the love you deserve. In general, this summary will help you to gain more from your man and your relationship. Chapter 2 For most men, purpose and income comes before women. Identity, purpose, and a good stream of income are important to men. Every man needs to achieve these three things before he feels like he is truly fulfilling his destiny as a man. Unfortunately, if any of these are missing, men will be too busy searching for them instead of focusing on women. Men lacking any of these things won't be interested in settling down, having children, or building a life with anyone. Even if a man is in love with you, professes his love publicly, is a good protector, good-looking or trusting, but has no money, he won't feel like a full man. You don't go to bed a boy and wake up a responsible man. The journey from the latter to the former takes time and intentionality. Usually, as young men, the popular thoughts and advice range from, oh, you are young, sow your wild oats, to, you only live once, enjoy yourself, and many more. You also get the marriage scare where several people tell horrifying and discouraging tales about it and how your freedom is taken away when you tie the knot. However, marriage is a good thing, even today. It's just that it isn't compulsory. Most people will get married, but not everyone. Don't let the horror tales you hear scare you from tying the knot with the one you love. Before you choose to get married, it's important to settle identity issues and the question of purpose. In other words, know who you are, be comfortable in your own skin, and have a job or career you're pursuing before inviting someone else to share your life. Real men do what they have to do to make sure their people are taken care of, clothed, housed, and reasonably satisfied. And if they're doing anything less than that, they're not men. Steve Harvey if you're planning to live with a woman for the rest of your life, there's a trait that will make it easier for you. It is to be a man of your word. Women love it when you stay true to your word. It signals that you're a trustworthy person whom they can count on even in their most vulnerable states. Chapter 3. Men feel the need for relationships and settling down later than women. Most women start dreaming about happily ever after as kids. They learn early that it is okay to be independent, smart, and strong, so they usually have it in their priority to meet, get, and keep a husband, especially when the biological clock starts ticking. Things are, however, different for a man. When he is in his 20s, he's just beginning to discover who he is, what he does, and how much he makes. He's just figuring himself out, so he is not thinking of becoming a husband or a father yet. On average, men are more prone to thinking about making money as they grow up while most women in the same age range think more about relationships and marriage. If you are in a relationship with a man who doesn't seem ready for commitment yet, you have to be clear with him on what you need from the relationship mentally and emotionally. Ask him when he wants to settle down, have his first child, and so on. You can bring out the best in a man if you are interested in him. Typically, a man in his 30s has started making the kind of income he plans, so he may begin to think about commitment and fatherhood. Men at this age also begin to accept that their dating and fooling around days are over. You can also tell if a man at this age has time and can find contentment in any other things by quantifying how much time he spends away from work. You should be willing to walk away if, eventually, it appears he is not interested in commitment. A man in his 40s loves his accomplishments and is making money. Having a home to return to also completes him as a man. At this age, he wants to be respected and depended on. If a man is still single in his 40s, it may be due to previous bad experiences or the job he signed up for. A man in his 50s and beyond is working seriously to make his legacy known. He's looking for someone to grow old with. He also knows that death can happen at any time. 
Did you know? It's a lot harder for a man to love right, eat right, and stay out of trouble if there isn't a female presence. Chapter 4. The Myths About Men and the Women They Love Believing myths about men often hinder women from fully enjoying their romantic relationships. In this chapter, we will review and debunk some of the major myths women have come to believe about men. Men don't like women who talk about their marital success. The truth is, men are happy for successful women, but they're only repelled by independent women who believe they don't need a man. You don't have to sell yourself short, but if you constantly say you don't need a man, then men stay far away from you. Men are turned off when they can't see where they fit into your life. Men don't approach strong women because they are intimidated by them. This isn't true. Men may be afraid of many things, but women are not one of them. Men just like to stay back and not approach you if you are cold and unwelcoming. They prefer to go where they are welcomed. Men don't like a relationship with women who make more money. This is not true. Men who make less money than you will not blame you for it or fight you. They are only going to be angry at themselves for making less. It's usually a hard pill for a man to swallow when roles are switched, and it seems he is the one doing the household responsibilities while the woman makes more money. If you're in this condition, you can help your man by discussing with him heart to heart like a lady. Offer him encouragement, support, and appreciation. Men expect independent women to lower their standards or remain alone. This isn't true. Men don't exactly care what you want in a man or the level of achievement you desire. They just want to be assured of your loyalty and support, despite the demands of your career. Men who have relationships with independent women are lazy. This is not a trait that you will find in a true man. Men have been raised to have that mindset of providing and protecting. So when a woman takes up that role for a man, he won't want to stick around for long. Unless both partners talk it through and the man is somehow given the opportunity to feel like he's contributing to the house. Chapter 5. Sugar Daddies Are Players. Do not waste your time with them. Get a committed man. A sugar daddy is, in essence, a player paying you for sex. He wants three things that no man should be able to get from you easily. Your body, your devotion, and your love. There is a difference between a man who provides for you and the one who is investing. Warning, go for sugar daddies only if you're comfortable with the arrangement and not interested in a committed relationship. A man who truly loves you will profess his love for you publicly, protect you by all means, and provide for you. He will not just spend his money on trifling things and come to you with what is left. A man who only buys you luxury gifts but can't give you monogamy or love, he is only using you, and when he's bored, he will move on. To get away from this, you have to develop some standards and have your requirements. Don't fall for any sponsorship package. Walk away from such arrangements. They only devalue you as a woman. It is true that some men are afraid of commitment for several reasons, but if you really want commitment from a man, you have to make him work to get to your heart. If he meets the requirements you want in a man, you can get him to commit by first getting yourself ready for commitment. Let go of your baggage from the past. Have standards and guard your heart. It bears repeating. Never lower your standards because you want a man to commit. You will know a man is ready for a serious relationship if he takes you to his place of worship and seeks your opinion when making decisions. Such a man puts your happiness ahead of his own. He has seen you without makeup and doesn't mind. He has also met all your crazy family members and still wants to stay. Chapter 6. Study the man you're in a relationship with. Learn to understand the things that move him. Men can be tricky and pretentious creatures. They get away with a lot of wrong things because women allow them. So women have to stop letting men get away with these things by asking the right questions. Men usually tell women what they believe they want to hear, which is not always the truth. But women need to dig deeper and not buy into fairy tales. So always get all the information men are trying to hide. When you ask a man a question, the first answer he gives is to make him look good. The second answer he gives is what he thinks you want to hear. And, if you can dig deeper, the last answer will introduce you to the truth. For instance, if you ask a man what his relationship is like with his children, his first response is, It's good. We play together. My son is just like me and my daughter is so beautiful. This answer makes him look like he spends a lot of time with his kids and he loves them. When you probe further by asking about his relationship with their mother, and he responds, it's fine, we get along once in a while, she can be a bit tough. 
He is telling you what you want to hear, that despite their mom being tough, he's a good guy who makes it work. Without open and honest conversations, any relationship will fail, no matter how beautiful it appears. If you then dig deeper and ask, if your relationship with their mom isn't so easy and she's tough, how do you get along with the children so well? Then he tells the truth by saying, well, I don't really get along with their mother, so I don't see the kids often. I see them once a month, revealing he has baby mama issues. If you continue a relationship with him, you might get caught in that issue. So asking the right questions and digging deeper helps you to choose your kind of poison. Chapter 7. Men need sex, but you need to keep it for a while to get him to commit first. Sex is an innate need that most men can't live without. The few who do are in romantic relationships because the desire for sex is heightened when they're with someone they love. Sex is the most gratifying and confidence-building feeling any man can ever experience. The problem women have with the male sex drive is that men have no trouble getting intimate and hitting the road almost immediately after. A man can sleep with a woman just because it's fun, but it's hard for a woman to do the same because women get emotionally attached when physical intimacy happens. Sex can never keep or hold a man. No matter how seductive you are, sleeping with a man won't necessarily bring love or emotional connection. It happens, of course, but it's just not a biological rule. This is why women should withhold sex away for the first 90 days after meeting a man. If he can't wait that long or doesn't give you enough time to investigate whether he's worthy, then he's probably not your man. If you treat sex as special, you will be able to discern the ideal guy, the one who will be committed to you. Ask any guy if sex is important in a relationship, and the one who says no is lying. I just haven't met that guy yet. When you meet him, let's get him into the Smithsonian. He's that special and rare. Steve Harvey The sex drive eventually wanes, even if it is with the one you love. That's human nature. Life happens. The kids, the bills, and the responsibilities all take a toll. However, your man's desire for sex will remain constant for a long while. And if, for one reason or the other, you're unable to give in to sex, he will be faced with the temptation to get it outside your relationship. Usually, sex with the other woman is just a release for a man. The other woman probably means nothing to him. He is just thrilled to be having sex with someone he doesn't have to argue with or has responsibilities for. However, this doesn't make cheating right. Every man eventually realizes that no orgasm is worth losing his family. A moment of pleasure for your life is a high price to pay. Conclusion Men are quite different from women. Both genders think and act differently. Men show love by providing, professing, and protecting, while women show their love by being open, giving sex, and being demonstrative about it. The three most important things you can give a man are sex, loyalty, and support. Men also like gratitude. Sex boosts their ego and self-confidence, and thanking them for something they did also boosts their ego and makes them want to do more. You can have a lovely marriage if you understand how men see and react to commitment. You have to be certain that a man is really into you and ready to commit to you before starting a relationship with him. Men usually want to find themselves and be financially stable before they start a family. No man likes to be at the mercy of his wife or fed by her. Practicing the 90-day rule works. Withholding sex for the first 90 days of meeting a man can tell if he is really ready to commit and be faithful to you. A major sign of true commitment is that he is willing to wait till you're ready for sex, instead of nagging you for it, leaving the relationship or cheating at worst. Never believe the myths about men disliking successful and independent women. Matured men indeed celebrate successful women, especially if they are approachable and want to mingle. Lastly, to get anything from a man, you have to avoid nagging and instead ask in a calm and cooperative tone. Try this. How do you get your man to do something for you? Strike a deal with him. Agree to give him something in return if he helps out with the task. Watch how this works like magic.